Hi, my name is Penelope Gonzalez from the Cisco TAC Collaboration Team. In this video, I want to provide you with a step-by-step -step guide on how to configure the Catalyst 8000 V-Series router registered with the Smart Licensing Using Policy, especially those that are out of the box or any other that requires enabling the boot level and add-on license. This license is essential to install for those devices which wants to run voice feature services. In some Catalyst 8000 V Edge software deployments that run Cisco IOS XE version 17.4.x, the license boot level is not set, and consequently, this causes problems with the license-based features in the virtual router. First, make sure you have access to the router's console and have logged in with administrative privileges. Let's start by verifying an example from where the boot level is not set with the command show version. In this case, you can verify in the license level section that we only have license type perpetual. This assures us that our boot and add-on license is not configured. Let's begin with the configuration. The first command we need to enter is license boot level in a global configuration. As we can see in the screen, we have three options to set up the boot level in the virtual router, network advantage, network essentials, and network premiere. The choice of license depends on which license you have already purchased from the smart licensing portal. Likewise, to check the features provided by each of the boot license levels and its add-on, you can verify the link in the comments of the following document, Cisco DNA, for switching software subscription matrix. In this case, we are going to proceed with the configuration of license boot level network essentials. Next, in order to configure the add-on, you have three options based on the boot level that you choose. Cisco DNA Advantage, Cisco DNA Essentials, and Cisco DNA Premier. As per our previous election, we are going to set up the Cisco DNA Essentials add-on as follows. As we can see in the warning, for the changes in the configuration to be saved, it is necessary to run the command write. Now, let's continue to verify that our changes have been applied with the command show version. In this case, since we have not yet proceeded with the reload, we can see that our license level is available for next reload. So let's proceed with reload the device for the changes to take effect. Once our reload is finished, we can again check with the command show version, the setup of the boot level, and the add-on is correctly configured as shown in the image below. Additionally, you can use the show license status command to verify that the Catalyst 8000 volts edge software is registered to smart licensing using policy and ensure the trust code is installed for the smart transport method. It must be updated with the registration date as you can verify. I hope this guide has been helpful. If you have any questions or need further assistance, please do not hesitate to contact the Cisco TAC collaboration team. Thank you for your attention and see you next time.